All right, guys, at Walmart on Black Friday, they've got a Lego Dimension starter pack. It's normally $99.96. It's 60% off on Black Friday while supplies last. You cannot get Lego this cheap. So let's look at how to do this. First of all, it's very, very similar to tax. Same exact thing, but one thing different. So first of all, you've got to take 60% of $99.96. So we're going to take 60% of $99.96. All right. Now, 60%, I mean, 60 cents out of a dollar, out of 100 pennies. So that's going to be 0 0.60, 60 cents. All right. 60% is 60 cents out of 100 pennies, which is 60 cents of $99.96. So to pick up your calculator, we're going to do 0.6 times 99.96 equals. All right, here we're going to get 59.976. Now remember, money has two places past the decimal. All right, and that little guy behind it gives, tells a secret, tells the 97 whether he stays as a 97 or moves up to a 98. Remember, five or above moves up, four or less stays as 97. What does the six tell the 97 to do? to round up to 98. Good. So it's going to be about $59.98. Now, is that how much you're going to pay? Well, no, think about it. 60% is it's more than half. $59 is not more than half. That is actually called your discount. That's your discount. That's not how much it's going to be. That's your discount. Kind of like when you did the sales tax, that was your tax, okay? But that's your discount. So your discount is $59.98. Now, the discount is what you're actually subtracting away from the $99.96. So you're going to have to take the $99.96 and subtract your discount, which is $59.98. So we're going to subtract it. That's my discount. So I'm going to subtract. Got to borrow, make that 8. 16 minus 8 is 8. Can't take eight, 9 from 8. Got to borrow from the 9, make that an 8. This becomes 18. 18 minus 9 is 9. Decimal straight down. Can't take 9 from an 8. Borrow from the 9, make that an 8. This becomes 18. 18 minus 9 is 9. 8 minus 5 is 3. Guys, guess what? How much will the product be after 60% off? Your product is going to be $39.00 and 98 cents. Now, let's take it further. That's how much your product is actually going to be, but is that how much you're going to pay? No, because remember, if you're going to do sales tax. If you're going to do this right, let's do it right. Let's find out the sales, uh, we got to put ta tax on it. So number three, let's find the tax. How do you find the tax? All right, you're going to take 6% of the 39.98. So ready, 6% is 0 0.06. So we're going to do 0 0.06 times 39.98. All right, so let's do it. 0 0.06, 0 0.06 times 39.98. That's going to give me 2.3988. All right, how much money is that? Underline the two decimal places past the decimal. What does the 8 tell the 39 to do? That's right, tells it to round up to 40. So you're going to have to pay $2.40 sales tax. So if you're going to do this right, how much would you totally pay? What do you got to do with the $2.40 and the $39.98? You're going to add them. So $39.98 plus $2.40 gives me $13. Well, you're going to pay a total of $42.38. Now, we took it higher than needed. Honestly, the question said, how much will the product be after 60% off? And that's going to be $39.98. So we kind of went higher. All right, so therefore, let's do another problem. You can either take it to the 60% off, the how much your discount is, or let's even take it further. Let's find out how much it will be with the sales tax. All right, so remember to find it. You're going to take 60% of it. 
And instead of add, you're now going to subtract. Let's try another problem. 